everyone so today I thought that I would finally film my review on the Maybelline Superstay foundation now as you guys have probably mentioned um, I've got very very oily skin and this is marketed as a long lasting foundation so when I finished my Revlon Colorstay I really wanted to try this one but I thought I would finish other um, foundations before this one now previously we've had trouble with the lighting now the sun is directly shining at me so hopefully the lighting is good in this video um, as of right now I've got the foundation on for I've had it on for about eight hours eight and a half hours um, but I will take it off and reapply it on camera just so you guys can see how it goes on and um, I've got pictures from when I've worn it um, other times and yeah it won't be a first impressions because I was going to film a first impressions and then my adapter for my camera was like decided to break so I had to buy a new one and by then I used the foundation so long story short we're doing a proper full review I've used it a couple of times now I can see where so I feel like I can give it a pretty good review so if you would like to know how good the foundation is for super oily skin then just keep on watching it so I checked the lighting um, while I was taking off my um, face makeup and it looks like everything around me is black but my face is kind of clear but I'll be kind of glaring so yeah I hope that's okay um, now I've got the shade 10 Ivory, which is the, I think, like, third or fourth lightest. Um, this one is slightly dark for me, but I quite like that because um, it's not like a massive noticeable difference for me. But yeah, it's not what I would call Ivory, um, but they do have lighter shades. Um, I didn't really pay attention to like how light they were, but they seemed okay. Um, my Superdrug didn't have a massive variety for darker shades, so um, I don't know if that's just like the overall range or if just my Superdrug that I bought this at was just too small to carry everything. But even then, like it shouldn't be ever too small to carry something because like if I can find my shade, then so should everyone else. Um, but yeah, it was $9.99, which is just a normal foundation shade. And um, yeah, I normally use three pumps, but I do wear quite a bit of foundation. So I just put it on the back of my hand because this is slightly dark. I don't have to mix it with my um, medium, which makes it darker. And then sometimes I wear primer. I only have one. Oh yeah, I rarely wear primer. Hope you can see how that's going on the skin. Like I said, it's slightly darker than my um, own face, but my face has lost any trace of a tan since the summer. So, but it's not like as long as I blend it down my neck. It's when a foundation is so dark for you that you even you blending it down your neck is a problem that you gotta buy a lighter one or a lightener or something. So yeah, I would say it's a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage or anything. Um, my skin is okay at the moment, so it's not obviously it's not flawless because I don't have flawless skin. I do have acne scars and like little breakouts here and there but currently I don't have like active like big spots anywhere but I did like a couple of weeks ago so yeah I would say that this foundation sits really well on the skin um layers really well applies really nicely and easily with this morphe sponge yeah, overall for like application I don't have to work very hard I don't have to like finesse it in or like change anything to like the way I 
apply my makeup to like help it. But yeah, as I said, this is a little bit dark, but I also don't mind that because the powder I currently use is translucent, but or transparent, whatever, which one. But kind of leaves like a whitish cast, so it pales the foundation down anyway. So yeah, that's me using three pumps. It sits okay on the skin, it's not the best. Like, I can see some texture seeping through, and I do have textured skin. It's just, it looks smooth, but then it kind of doesn't, which is a confusing thing. But that's it up close. Looks really good in pictures. At the end, I will insert the pictures that I mentioned of um, me wearing it for 8 hours and 10 hours. Now I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my face again. And I will be right back to give you my like final thought. Okay, so now I'm back with the rest of my face. Um, so yeah. This is how the foundation looks. I will try and insert pictures on the side. So my overall, um, like out of 10, I would give it like a good six and a half, seven. Um, I know that like people like Jeffree Star and so many other YouTubers swear by this foundation. However, they don't have really oily skin. I feel like this would be an amazing foundation for someone with normal skin, um, normal combination, but someone who has such oily skin as I do, this is not something that lasts an amazing amount of time. So like I wouldn't be comfortable putting it on like 8am in the morning um, if I had a 9am lecture, going to my lecture to lunch then going to the library or something, then coming home like six, seven, eight, my face will look a mess. Um, but on the other hand, I haven't actually found a foundation that lasts that amount of time. My Revlon Color Stay was the closest one. But yeah, if you have really, really oily skin like I do, and I'm not just talking about a little bit of oil, I'm talking about literally no other foundation. Um, all these long lasting foundations don't really last long on you then this will not be one of them either it's a good good staying foundation um but not as long lasting as everyone makes it out to be since they have normal skin so yeah i thought i would i am glad i bought it it is a really good foundation however not for my skin type so when I do finish this, I won't be repurchasing it. But yeah, it doesn't act weirdly with my concealer, powder, everything else. Looks fine. It slightly oxidizes, but not too badly. Um, so yeah, that's my overall review. Now, if you want me to review any other foundations, um, then just like let me know in the comments down below. Tomorrow I will be finally testing out my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer which I'm really excited about because um, I've heard really good things about the foundation from my friends and I'm really excited about the concealer so I will be testing that out tomorrow and yeah now I will go and film my testing kind of slash review of my Jeffree Star holiday collection lipsticks I have three yeah I got two of them late because they're all three were bought to me by friends so I'm very grateful thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye guys